if we look across all the various risks that uh, cities are facing in terms of climate change, I would argue that the one denominator that all of those risks are sharing is people and the need for behavioral change. Also, you could say that uh, social resiliency is a prerequisite to uh, coming up with the right solutions of infrastructure when we look, look forward. Um, if people are not locally connected uh, in their everyday, in the communities they live, they, they live in, they are less likely to help each other at an incident, at a great event. I work uh, with city planning, uh, so uh, at the stage where we are helping politicians to set visions, develop strategic frameworks, do plans for uh, existing communities or new developments, and, and even in, in the design and implementation stages. So we try to engage citizens at all these various levels of decision making. Uh, right from the very beginning. And I think we have smart technology uh, systems today that can actually help us engage people in a much wider way than that we used to do. We don't even, uh, we don't have to only rely on, on setting up meetings and meeting the usual suspects, uh, you could say. Um, we can use social media as a way of interaction, but I also highly, highly advocate for doing experiments, uh, doing temporary projects so that people can vote with their feet.